Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Vivo X Fold 3 Pro. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price that I paid for this one is 1,700 bucks. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got black or white. For the main display, you got an 8.03 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 2200 by 2480. Now that's 413 for the PPI Patrol. You got HDR 10 plus, Dolby Vision, up to 4500 nits peak brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now for the outer display, you got a 6.53 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1172 by 2748. Now you also got HDR 10 plus, Dolby Vision, 4500 nits peak brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now the phone is IPX8 water resistant and you got the carbon fiber hinge. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 with the Adreno 750 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs bro, flagship specs. Now you got 16 gigs of RAM, 512 or one terabyte of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 14 with Origin OS 4 skin on top. For the battery, now this is the new calcium battery. It's 5,700 milliamps and it features 100 watt fast charge. That means you could charge this phone from zero to 100% in 31 minutes. Now you also got 50 watt fast wireless charge and you got reverse wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. Now these are the Zeiss lenses. You got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 50 megapixel ultra wide and a 64 megapixel telescope, uh, periscope telephoto lens. Now you can shoot 8K video at 30 frames per second and 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now in the front, you got two 32 megapixel cameras, one on the outer display and one on the main display. Now they're both wide angle and you can shoot video at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now you're getting dual stereo speakers that feature 24 bit high res audio and Snapdragon sound. You got Bluetooth 5.4 that supports aptX lossless. You got Wi-Fi, always on display, dual fingerprint sensors, and you got face unlock. All right, so all of that for 1700 bucks, let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes, I love my white calm down. Okay, so this is the Vivo X Fold 3 Pro. Now, just in case you're wondering what's the difference between the X Fold 3 Pro and the regular X Fold 3, the X Fold 3 has the Snapdragon 8 Generation 2 processor, for the cameras, instead of 50, 50, and 64, you got 50, 50, and 50. It has a 5,500 milliamp battery that only features 80 watt fast charge and no wireless charge. So this is the top of the line of the Vivo flagship folds. Okay, now as far as the presentation, let's see, little unboxing knife. We got the West Side Story. Here we go. Rah. Okay. Now this is the Chinese version. I got it from Giztop. I don't think this one's coming out globally. All right, so if you like this, you're gonna have to get the Chinese version. All right, so let's check the presentation. Okay, so inside, this is gonna be your device. I shoes, I need you to calm down. I'm a little bit hyped too. Let's see, now this is gonna be a nice little case. Oh, check this out. Now, when you're spending 1700 bucks, this is the kind of presentation you want. You get your Vivo X Fold 3 membership card, plug it and file it. You do have a SIM ejection tool. Okay, and let's take a look at this case. Okay, now this is the white case with the vegan leather on the back. I'm already feeling this one. Oh, look at this. And you got a little hinge protection on the case. And inside the box, you got the 120 watt fast charging brick. Let's all say it together. Samsung, Apple, Google, nothing. Sony, fucking Sony. The charger in the box with the USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging cable. Beautiful presentation. Now for the actual device, here we go. Whew, okay. Now I went with the white. Okay, we calling this the snow buddy. Let's go. Let me do a little smell test on this one. Mm! Smells like photography. Okay, I think this is gonna be the best camera phone on any fold yet. Now let's see on the back. Ooh, look at that pattern right there. You got to do the two finger test with this one. Real nice. Let's see. Power button. Now if you buy this from Giztop, it should have the Google Apps already installed. But let's just make sure. 
On this side, you got volume up and down. Now, I wasn't sure. I believe this one has an IR blast. I just got to double check. Okay, let's see. You got a little vibrate on and off switch right there. On the bottom, there's your SIM tray, speaker grill, USB Type-C charging slot. I believe this one does have an IR blaster. Okay, let's uh, increase the brightness. Now, 4,500 nits, okay? That's peak brightness. That's not sustained brightness. There's a big difference. Okay, let's just make sure we got the Google apps already on here. Okay, there's the Play Store. All right, so let me get and set this one up. Then we'll walk through the OS. But let's get the first unfold. Okay. Very thin and lightweight. A nice satisfying fold and again you got a camera on the inside and camera on the outside so you're gonna have dual face unlock and dual fingerprint sensors all right so let me set this up talk amongst yourselves all right y'all so we back in now i just finished putting my information in the phone setting everything up and playing around with it for a few minutes and i gotta be honest with y'all i think this is already gonna be my new favorite foldable device now in terms of the build quality my favorite was the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3. I love the big wide outer display, and this one has the same thing. But the camera on this one is better. Okay, the camera's better. Now, we got the OnePlus Open. This is another one of my favorite foldable devices. I love the wide outer display, but it's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit shorter. Then, of course, we got the Galaxy Z Fold 5, my least favorite foldable device. In terms of features, it has the most. You got S Pen support, but I hate this narrow outer display. I even like the Pixel Fold better than the Galaxy because at least with the Pixel Fold, you got a wider outer display, but I'm not a big fan of this short design. So which one y'all like best? In my opinion, I'm gonna go with the Vivo because wait till y'all see this camera. All right, the camera is crazy. Now let's talk about the biometrics insane now this is how biometrics is supposed to work that's not my fingerprint that's my face unlocked as soon as i look at it it just opens up now i'm not going to look at it you see the little circle around the camera on the top bang there it is and watch this we can do face unlock from both cameras so you got a camera right here and a camera right here but check this out there's even more watch this fingerprint sensor instant and then you also got Fingerprint sensor on the inner display. So you got dual fingerprint sensors and dual face unlock. Now, while we got shoes right here, let's get a quick shot. Look at the photos. I right, look at the photos on this. Bro, look at this. This was just point and shoot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, in terms of the actual build quality, again, IPX8, not the most water resistance. I do love this case because it covers up that carbon fiber hinge, triple camera setup on the rear, Zeiss branding, there's your dual LED flash. It definitely has an IR blaster because if you download an app like Mi Remote, it won't even let you set up a remote if the phone doesn't have an IR blaster. So we definitely got an IR blaster on deck and I like the little vibrate switch. Remember I said all phones should have this, all right? Shout out to OnePlus. I, for OnePlus for bringing this to the market. I think all phones need to have the vibrate on and off switch. All right, so you can easily put your phone on silent, on ring. I love that. Okay, there's your power button, volume up and down. Again, IR blaster, speaker grill, speaker grill, um, SIM ejection, SIM ejection, uh, SIM slot, and there's your other speaker. This case definitely feels dope, and I love the way the phone feels. It's super lightweight. But these biometrics, a lot of y'all be out here making excuses for Samsung. All right, let's see. Look at the face unlock. All right, look. Okay, look at Samsung face unlock working. Okay, look. Okay, okay hold up. Look at Samsung. All right, Samsung. Okay, Samsung. Xiaomi, same thing. Xiaomi, the Supreme Biometrics. Y'all seen that? Let's try OnePlus. OnePlus, excellent biometrics. But this right here, the fingerprint sensor is just so smooth and reliable i only set it up once now usually i like to set up multiple fingers but it works every single time bang but you're not you're not gonna have to use it when you got that face unlock that works that fast now let's get a little wipe down check this out always on display okay fully customizable 
Bang. I love this outer display. You can actually use it. Here's how your Instagram is going to look. Okay, and then we just pop this open. And this has the optimized Instagram. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see. Now, look, we got to do the Instagram. Matter of fact, we'll do that in a second. We'll do that in a second. Let's see anything we missing on Instagram, right? Okay. All right. Let's take it over to the basic UI. Now, if you swipe down, you're going to get all your notifications. And if you swipe down from the right, here's all your quick toggles. Now, remember, 4,500 nits peak brightness. Now, sustained brightness, that's a different story. Peak brightness means it's only going to stay like that for maybe a few seconds. But in outdoors, you're going to want that extra brightness. Okay, so let's go through the settings. Here's your quick toggles. You got battery life. You got portrait mode, screenshot. Of course, you got uh, hot spots. Let's go to settings. Okay, so this does feature find. Okay, so you can find your lost devices. There's all your Wi-Fi's. Okay, now this has Bluetooth 5.4 with support for Snapdragon Sound and APTX lossless. So if you got some high-res earbuds, this is the kind of phone that you want. Okay, this is the kind of phone that you want. All of my devices right here. Mobile networks. Now, this does work on T-Mobile and AT&T in the USA. I'm going to do some testing off camera. Now, when you're buying these Chinese phones, you're not going to get Android Auto. Okay, but you do got VPNs, private DNS. Okay, you got screen mirroring, OTGs. Okay, now, one of the things that I love about Vivo phones, the level of customization. I mean, you can literally customize everything. Okay, let's see the icon settings. Now, we're not going to go through all of them. I don't think we need to really see. We got different home screens for your badges. Okay, we're going to leave all this stuff on though. Okay, let's see. Show uh, real-time network speed, battery percentage. Let's go ahead and show that. We'll do it inside the battery. Okay, nothing really else to see with that. Sound and vibrations. Dual stereo speakers. <laughs> okay, a little heavy-handed on that one. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, do, we'll do a sound test in a minute, though. Okay, they sound loud, though. They sound loud. <laughs> okay. Anything else we need to see here? Screen lock sounds. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's see. Uh, okay, sound quality and effects. Okay, you got audio super resolution. Yes. Yes, please. Let's see. We got, okay, uh, list of customized experience. Okay, earphone adaption. Okay, all that stuff we'll play with. Super audio. I don't know what that is, but yes, I want it. Okay, we got smart movies, games, and music. I like to leave it on smart, but we'll play with that more when we do the full review. Okay, so that's the sound quality and effects. Display and brightness. Again, 4,500 nits. That's kind of crazy. Font style. Okay, we got Origin OS. We'll just leave those. Let's see, display size. Okay, now I like to leave mine a little bit larger because I am blind. And let's see, standard. Okay, that's too large. That's that's too large. I, I ain't that blind. I ain't that blind. Okay, screen colors. Let's see, we got standard, professional, bright. I like to have mine a little bit cooler. Okay, that looks better to me. Let's see. Yeah, the default kind of has a yellowish tint to it. Warm is super yellow. I like mine to be a little bit ice cold. A little bit ice cold. I like that. Okay, so we got screen refresh rate. Now, it does have smart adaptation. So, it, it, this is an LTPO panel. So, it can go all the way down from one hertz, minimum hertz, to maximum hertz. Now, I'm going to leave mine on 120. Why not? Apps running at a higher refresh rate. Okay. Adjust those. Self-adaptive slide for frame change. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Let's see. Anything else we need to see? Always on display. Now, you do have tent mode on this. So, what that means is, let me show you what that is real quick. We'll do the tent mode. Let's go ahead and hit this off. Put it in tent mode. And look at that. We got the, the date. We got the calendar. Okay. This is pretty sick. This is actually a nice looking tent mode right there. Leave it on the table just like that. Okay. Open it back up. Everything looks good. All right. So, let's go back to display. Where was we? All right, so we'll do always on display. Let's see. Okay, desk calendar. You got different tent modes. Now, for tent mode, that one that I just had looks dope. This one looks fly too, though. Why did I say fly? Why am I using all these um, old school words today? Creative digital. I think I like that one the best. Or oh, a regular old school flip clock. That's pretty dope too. Yeah, okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go with the flip clock. 
Now, I think I like this one, though. I think I like I wanted this head, but I got to see if we could get rid of this calendar right here. I'll play with that in a minute. The timeline, because I, when you buy these Chinese phones, you're going to have a lot of this Chinese uh, bloatware on it. All right, shout out to my man Xi Jinping. You know what time it is. All right, let's see. Display. We got smart display. I like to leave mine on all day. Always on display notifications. Now, when I download all of my apps, we'll see if we can get all the notifications on the always on display. Let's see. Show. Uh, let's see. Okay. Always on. Status bar. Okay. Home screen kits. Why not? Okay. Now, all this apps right here, they're not going to work in the USA, but some of them will. Weather. Why not? Healthcare. I don't, give me everything. V App Store. I like to have everything. You, who, who seen that movie, um, The Professional? Remember when I, when it was in the hallway and he was like, bring me everyone. And the guy said, everyone? Everyone! Sorry, shoes. I ain't mean to scream at you like that, but that's my favorite part of that movie, The Professional. Bring me everyone. All right, let's see. Any, did we miss anything from display and brightness? Let's see. We got multi-window for apps. Okay. Okay, fold the screen. All right, so now when I fold the screen, I like to leave my display on. Now, you can have it when you fold the screen, it automatically turns off, but I'm going to leave it on. Okay, app display ratio. Okay, and I like to have everything in full screen. If you got a big-ass fold, why not? But if you got small hands, you might want to change that up. Okay, this is the tent mode. We're going to leave that on. All right, home screen. Let's see, wallpapers. Now, let's see what kind of wallpapers we got. Oh, this one is dope. This one is kind of dope. Y'all see that moving? That is kind of dope. Let's get and download that, and let's see the download speeds while we're here. She was trying to get a rubber dub. This one is actually dope. Okay, that's the kinetic wallpapers. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Let's see what else we got. More kinetic wallpapers. Oh, this one is kind of dope. If you notice, look closely. It's actually moving. Okay, I'm not going to download all of them, no, but we'll just look. Okay, this one is kind of kind of very Samsung-ish. Okay, we got the two Samsung ones. Let's see, we got live wallpapers. Now, these are the cool ones. When you open your fold, you get that unfolding wallpaper experience. All right, shout out to shoes here. <laughs> shout out to white shoes, bro. All right, and we got static wallpapers, and we got more. So now we can go to the themes. I'm not going to do all of that right now. Okay, matter of fact, why, why not? We do got some dope themes. Check this one out. If y'all noticed, did y'all see this one I got on the Xiaomi? Hold up. You, you could get a lot of these ones from the same Chinese spots. Hold up. Let me... um. See if this will pop up. Look at that. You see, like, the cities. Yo, shoes. Bro! Shoes is... <sighs> Wusa. Wusa. All right. Don't get, don't get mad at your cats, guys. Let, let, let the cat be a cat. All right, so let's see. That's um display wallpapers. Okay, let's go back to that. Let's see. We got lock screen. Okay, so we got your lock screen poster. Okay, we could also uh, rotate... Okay, that's cool. Let's see, uh, festival lock screen, change lock screen based on the theme. Okay, always on display. I think we went through those already. Themes, okay, and icons. You can also change your icons. Okay, this is delicate or minimal. I like minimal. You can change the color themes. Oh, look at that. We got the MKBHD color theme. <laughs> That's why I got shout out to everybody who was in my last stream. Y'all know we just trolling. Let's see, we got round corners, icon size. Okay, so that looks pretty good. That's home screen. Let's go to for foldable devices. Okay, you got flex mode. Now we're going to use flex mode. Let's see, for the calendar, calculator, Facebook. Okay, we use flex mode for everything. So basically, when you're on YouTube, you just use the flex mode like this and rock out. I'll try that out in a minute. Let's see, we got smart secondary display. Okay, tent mode. Global taskbar, folder screen, keep screen on. Okay, let's go to apps. Anything we need to see here? App clone, okay, for your scumbag mode. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's see, app recovery, fingerprints and passwords, security, you got a full security suite. Okay, so you got fine, the new Android fine, payment safe, okay, backup pop on, da, da, da. earthquake alerts, okay, scam prevention center, we need that. Uh, we got the little scam prevention center. I like to turn that on all the time because them scammers be coming for me. Mass security. Let's see. Uh, more security settings. Anything we need to see here? Screen pinning. Okay. Okay. Let's see. That's cool. Privacy. Okay. You got stealth mode. Okay. You can turn your camera or your mic access off. RAM and storage. Now, this one is 512 gigs. Okay. This is a big boy right here. And you can also just clean everything up. Battery. Okay. Let's see. 
current battery level, 30%. This has a 100 watt fast charge, okay? Zero to 100%, 31 minutes. We could put it on boost mode. I'm, 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 why not? Leave it on boost mode. Okay, super battery saver. Okay, battery health and charging. Let's see. Optimized battery life. Super fast by default. You see, these are the things you got to check when you get your new phone. Somebody hit me up too on one of my last videos and was like, oh, I got the OnePlus charger. My phone is not charging fast. You got to make sure you turn on your super fast charging. We got reverse wireless charge, okay? Always on charge and display. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we got some AI. Okay, ultra gaming mode. Okay, we'll try that when we do some gaming. Digital well-being. Wallets and payments. Okay, you can access your cards and all that. Shortcuts and accessibility. Okay, let's see. We got split screen. We got small window. Okay, super pocket. Let's see what kind of motions we got. Okay, air gestures. Okay, let's see what kind of air gestures we got. Okay, so we got the air gestures. I'll leave that on and um, let's see, learn gestures, okay? Okay, we'll do that later. But you got air gestures. I like to use that for Instagram. Screenshot over the air, let's see. Hold and do the screenshot. Oh, okay, I like that. Ooh, that was dope, that was dope. Yeah, see, hold up, wave downward. All right, yeah, well, we'll do that. Screenshots over the air, we'll turn that on. Okay, so we do got some air gestures. Let's see, anything else we got? Smart reminders. System updates, okay, nothing really to see there. About phone, okay, Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, 16 gigs, 512, okay, v V3 chip, okay, users and accounts, there it is. All right, so that's all of the settings. Now, did I miss anything? I, I know I wanted to talk about one more thing. Let's see, um, okay, the effects, okay, we got the visual effects, we gotta make sure we turn all of this on, so we get maximum resolution. And that's pretty much it. Now, you can also go, when you go right here and you go to your mood cube. Okay, let me go ahead and install that. Okay, we're going to install the mood cube. Home screen styles. Okay, layouts. Folders. You got the dock. Home screen kits. Now, if you buy, look, shoes got me bleeding. If you buy this, right, and you want to find your kits, all right, we update the kits. Let me show you how to get to the Android kits. All right, when you hit kits, if you don't see the kits, you got to keep scrolling down and you hit more kits. That's going to be your Android kits. So say I want to do a YouTube. Let's do YouTube search. Drop that right there. Bang. Okay, so that's how you're going to find those. All right. Now let's let's uh, take a look at this uh, web browsing speed. Matter of fact, let me download Chrome real quick. All right, so let's try a little web browsing. Go to apple.com. Okay, full website. Let's see what Apple got coming out. Nothing really new right now. Let's try a little split screen multitasking. Okay, we'll do Facebook at the same time. Okay, Apple and Facebook. Okay, let's uh, shout to my girl right there, swap. Okay, put them on each side. Let's see. Pop up, okay, just like that. And let's go ahead and uh, switch to small window, exit out, and you got your floating window. Okay, so excellent web browsing speeds. Now, of course, you got your Google homepage. Let's kind of open this up. We'll do full screen. Here's how your Google's gonna look. And of course, let's go to settings real quick. And let's go to display and turn on dark mode. All right, there it is. That looks much better. All right, so let's see this little wallpaper that we added. Now you got your always on display, on the inner display and outer display. There's a little kinetic wallpaper. I kind of like that. Let's try from the outside. That's how it's going to look. Now let's take it over to the camera. Okay, now this is kind of important right here. The camera, this is what this phone is all about. Let's go through the different shooting modes. So you got snapshot. Okay, now if you want to, you can have your photos on one side. You got night mode, eye shoots came in right on time. You got portrait mode. Okay, you can change 100, 85, 50, 30. All right, different focal lengths. Okay, you got different uh, 
Let's see. We got Cyberpunk, Dreamy, Texture. Okay, we'll leave it on none. Okay, that was night mode. Okay, for portrait mode, like I said, different focal lengths. Now, for regular photos, you got wide angle all the way up to 100 times zoom. Okay, super scumbag zoom. Now, for video, the resolution, you could do 8K at 30 frames or 4K at 60. Now, on the front-facing camera, it's only 1080p at 30 frames per second. Let's see, for video, we could do wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. And you got super stabilization. Okay, that looks nice and smooth. Okay, so we got cinematic portrait. Okay, that's going to give you a cinematic video and more. So we got high resolution, panorama, ultra HD documents. We got slow motion, time lapse, long exposure, super moon, astro. We got landscape and architecture. We got pro mode. Let's see, this is micro movie, food, Jovi lens, multi-frame, all right, multi-camera, front and back, and you got live photos. And again, now look at these quick point and shoots. Now you can also change from vivid, texture, or natural Zeiss. Now personally, I like the vivid. And again, look at these point and shoot shots. That's kind of dope. Let's see if we get a quick portrait while we got shoes right here. Our shoes do something cute. I'm trying not to activate shoes into full throttle, but um, okay, optimizing the image. Look at that, beautiful. This camera is gonna be a lot of fun, and let's see how it looks from the outer display. Okay, because this is how you're normally gonna be taking your photos. We'll do one more. Quick shutter speed right there. Okay, then we just open this up. Bang, and rock out like this. Look at, look, look at that nose. Look at the detail on that nose. Look at that angry face. This is gonna be dope. All right, let's try out tent mode. Okay, let me um put in my YouTube, okay. Let's see now, I was watching, um, watch a little poker. Okay. Here's your tent mode. Okay, so look at this. It turns into an actual trackpad. Oh, that's pretty dope. Okay, swipe with two fingers. Oh, that's dope. That is dope. There's the comments and all of that. Okay, we got a bunch of settings. That's the brightness. Screenshots. Okay, can exit out of that if you want. Okay, that's pretty dope. The tent mode. I like that. Okay, let's see. Um, Actually, let's try one more thing. Okay, so you do got picture and picture. Let's see. Picture and picture on the outer display also. Okay. Exit out of that. Okay. Okay, allow picture. Okay, we're going to allow that. Let me see. Yeah, this is a nice size picture and picture, though. That's a nice size picture and picture. Okay. All right, anyway. All right, so let's exit out of that. Let's try the camera. We we'll go to tent mode. All right, so there's the tent mode on the camera. Okay, you can look at your photos from the bottom. Or well, we could do video. Okay, this is pretty dope. So this is you, you want to do your own vlogs. Okay, you can rock out like that. And just exit back out. Now, let's take it over to some of the apps real quick. I want This is what I wanted to show y'all. You see the Instagram? You see how Instagram is kind of... Hands <laughs> up! All right, let's see. You see how Instagram is optimized on the side? Okay, so I got all my notifications. We could go home. Okay, all right, shoes. Let's open up a few other Instagrams and see how they look. All right, here's Instagram on the OnePlus Open. Okay, optimized on the side too. Okay, hands up. Hands up. Okay, that one is optimized too. All right, shoes, bro. All right, shoes, I need you to calm down. Let's try on the Xiaomi. Okay, let's take it over to Instagram. Okay, optimized on the side also. Okay. Right, this dude, this guy right here. Look how these look. So far, like I said, I, I like the big ones. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> I like the big ones. Bro, calm down. <laughs> let's see. Okay, now this is how it looks on the Galaxy. You see on the Galaxy, the Galaxy is optimized very good too. You see all the apps on the bottom. Same thing like on the OnePlus. Okay, 
Let's see if we can get that. Burn! Okay, let's leave that right there. And of course, let's see with the pixel. Okay, let's do the Instagram test with the pixel. Okay, now the pixel to me. That's stuck. All right. Let's see. And you see the pixel? You see, look at the display on the pixel, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at this. This is not how I want to enjoy my Instagram. It seems like I'd be roasting the pixel a lot, but I just don't like the form factor. Now, if you got small hands, I get it. I get it. You probably like this form factor. And from the outer display, the pixel looks dope. Okay. But on the inner display, I like to do the Instagram test because this is one of my favorite apps. You see? Not optimized on the side. Okay. <laughs> okay. But on the outer display. Looks pretty dope. Now let's check these outer displays. This is the OnePlus. I don't know, this is the Galaxy. This is the Galaxy. Look at the Galaxy outer display. I mean, come on, this is too narrow. This is too narrow because if I want to reply to a comment, right? look at the keyboard on this. Look at the size of that keyboard versus if I want to leave that same comment, this keyboard is a lot bigger and juicier. You see the difference? Okay, let's try the OnePlus. Now, you already know what the OnePlus. Okay, hands up. Let's see if I can leave a comment. Okay, I like the big keyboard like that. But look at this, a nice size keyboard. The OnePlus is a great size phone. Let's see, same thing with Xiaomi. Let's go ahead and try to leave a comment. Okay, big juicy keyboard right there. And on the inside. Okay, I was playing some music earlier. Let's go back to, to the gram. Nice size keyboard. Okay, nice size keyboards on deck. We'll do one more. I just wanna, I, this is the kind of important stuff I, I need y'all to see. Okay, there's the keyboards. And with the Vivo, let's see the Vivo keyboard. If I decided to, I want to roast Boozy real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna install my Google keyboard. Nice size keyboard. Okay, so here's the keyboards right here. As you can see, look, just by looking at these, you can see how narrow the Galaxy is. But the Galaxy has the S Pen support. Anyway, this is supposed to be just a quick review. So far, fresh out of the box on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this a major, major, major go. I love it. Okay, I love everything about it so far. This camera is gonna be so epic. Let's get one more shot. Okay. Up close and personal. Let's do a portrait. Let's see if we can back up some from the portrait. Okay, that one looks like it would be dope. Ooh, look at that one. Look at that one. We're going to get some nice photos. Okay, optimize the image real quick. We're going to get some nice photos with this. Look at the background. Look a little blurry. Look at the, look at the anger in that face. Look at the determination. Is that anger or determination? Anyway. So this is the Vivo X Fold 3. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover when I do the full review. But I'm going to Florida this weekend for a Myers competition. So I'm going to have some great camera test shots and some great video shots. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hit me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys a lot. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up.
Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other.